in his Cambridge home. He said, Sheriff Hackle, that the police acted stupidly. That may not have been the best choice of words. Yeah, I'd probably say that they probably, he probably could have used discretion differently as opposed to saying that he uh, acted stupidly. Uh, I don't know that I would agree with that terminology, but unfortunately as elected officials we get asked by the media questions somewhat impromptu and we make statements and then when we make those statements we're bound by those and uh, people become very critical and uh, talk shows and obviously the public and blogs start uh, feeding off of that. It becomes a feeding frenzy and as Rochelle mentioned I think there are more important issues to deal with right now but unfortunately he made a statement such as that that I think is really uh, caused a lot of distraction from but some real serious issues that are going on with uh, with the economy and society right now. But and he, I he tried to go ahead. Go ahead. This issue here, I mean, is this really the one that you would want to use as a focal point as to is this a racial issue to begin with? I mean, you had an officer called to a scene based upon uh, an investigation of somebody breaking into a home. He had every right to do that. In fact, it's his responsibility. He's checking out the house, and then all of a sudden the conflict takes place because of the attitude of the two individuals. And I think what happened is uh, there was an arrest made because of a disorderly person, and then it became a racial issue. The president commenting on this without having all the facts I think causes a little bit of concern and I think it created some of that divide as opposed to let's have an issue or, or a discussion about race as opposed to using this as to was it really race related the arrest itself um, and unfortunately the media perpetuates this because they want answers right away. They want to know what happened. As a chief of police you got to have time to look at this and find out what did the officer do? What is this person complaining about? If is it a legitimate arrest? And I'm particularly on particular the facts you know. I think a different officer or may have handled it differently. And what do I say by that? Meaning my own past, my own background. I don't, it doesn't matter to me, the racial issue or whatever. Somebody has a right to be agitated by the presence of police, whether it's a, a driving while black issue, whatever. That's not the issue to me. I don't expect every time I go see somebody on a traffic stop, That's a right. go to a home on a complaint, that they're going to be That's happy with my presence or they're going to give me the respect that I sometimes think I deserve as a police officer. I go into that with a mindset of, hey, I'm here for a job, I'm here for responsibility, I handle it. Somebody gives me a hard time about it. You're I'm not going to show that. You're going to arrest him. I just made my that point. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not absolutely not true. Charlie. In my response to this situation, had I gone there and I got that treatment from somebody, whether they be white or black, my response to that individual would have been, listen, I apologize. I'm here only to check on something that may have happened to your home based on a call I got. And as a result, you are now have been identified as the homeowner here, which is, uh, I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to leave. And as much as this person might have been barking at me, chewing, chewing me up and giving me a hard time or whatever, I just said, you know what? I apologize if I've caused you some level of discomfort. If there's something about this that I have you done, think all that officers would do that? No, but you know what? That's exactly how they should do it. And you know what? Because I don't have time. I don't have time, don't have time Charlie, to deal with You're everybody who has a bad attitude. Right. I don't have time. In fact, my job every time I go to a, a respond to a traffic stop is to make that person feel right. better than they ever anticipated prior to my arrival. Exceed whether it's a traffic stop, right. whether it's oh, sure. at a home. So if she's a pleasant person. That's great. It makes it that much easier. But I'm still going to make her feel even much better when I leave. I think we've got to respect. I think I'm telling you, that's what it's all about. It's not a racial issue. I, how you treat people. Is how you treat people. So we've got people. to respect yeah. the law. And we've got about the uniform. The badge isn't anything about a symbol of authority, which I think sometimes we in law enforcement and sometimes the public perceive. It's not a symbol of authority. It's a symbol of public trust yeah. and trusting that we're going to do or carry out the mission that the public has paid us to do. And that's enforce the laws. And unfortunately, I don't react to somebody's negativism, their, their comments, their attitude. I mean, I'm not going to react to that because law enforcement officers are supposed to be trained how to deal with language Absolutely. differently than the normal person. If you're in a bar and you get into an argument with Huel about something and he says something, you say something, next you know you're going at it, um, that's because maybe your personality's got in the play or whatever. But as a police officer, I gotta have some level of expectation that people just don't like cops. And it's our job as law enforcement officers, I think in totality, to try to turn that perception from the public around by doing just that. Trying to make everybody feel but better.